Hi, I'm Jennifer from Christian View Share, and I just want to do a, to share a quick word um, to give thanks. That's it, to give thanks. And first and foremost, I give thanks to the creator of creation, of all creation, that it is God. And I thank him for that. He has blessed me with life. So when we look in Psalms 106, um, if you see me looking down, that's because I've made some notes. Psalms 106 says, Oh, give thanks. For he is good and his mercy endures forever. Just give thanks for God simply for who he is. You know, we say um, give thanks for his loving kindness. Loving kindness each morning. We don't know if you're going to wake up, but if we do, give thanks. We thank you for his faithfulness every night. Now that is word. That is word. And also, when must we do this? In all circumstances, whether good or bad. When we read in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, we see Paul was incarcerated for preaching the gospel. Despite his circumstance and what was happening, he was still able to give God thanks and to share good news with others. So it, it's not based on our feelings. We must always make up our minds to be thankful Find something positive, even in something negative, to always give thanks. You know, um, um, Psalms 34, David says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. So his praise, his praise is just giving thanks, giving thanks unto God. Being thankful, look around you and just give thanks for life. Even if your child's playing, you know, your child is misbehaving or just acting all crazy, like he ain't got no sense. That's all right. Still give God thanks that you have a child, you know. Love the life that God has given to you. You might have gone the path that he wants, to, wants you to do, to go along, but that's fine. Still be grateful for, for, for life. Don't match it up to others. Don't start looking at your life and say, by this age, I've got to do this and I've got to have that and all these kind of things. Appreciate life and where you are and just aim to do better each time as you're going along this life journey. You know, give God thanks for the family that you have. Yes, sometimes they get on your nerves and whatever, but you know, it's love. It's all love. Give thanks for them. Give thanks for the food on your table. Even if it's just a little bowl of soup or a dry piece of toast, give thanks. Whatever it is, give thanks and learn to appreciate things. And how, tell God thank you. Tell him thanks, you know. He didn't have to do it, but because of his love for us, he has kept us. So we must just always say thanks. And then, you know, I just want to say that even if you could do a challenge like each day, just write on a piece of paper what you want to say thanks for. Be thankful for the air you breathe in, the trees, the, I don't know, whatever it is. You could be giving him thanks for any relationship that you've escaped. You're giving him thanks that you got made redundant because you wanted to. You didn't want to leave the job, and you wanted someone to continue be coming in, but he provided you with a redundancy package. Give thanks and think about your past. Think about your present. There's many things there, many blessings to give God thanks, and if you want to step it up, thank him in advance for your future blessings. So. I just encourage you just to write something down each day and just put it somewhere in a container or a box or whatever and at the end of two or three months. Just go through all of them, date them and just, just look back and say, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for this. It's just a good reminder. Also develop an attitude of thankfulness and gratitude. It will bring you closer to God. It will just make you appreciate life and appreciate others. Also show your gratitude to others. When you are thankful, just show gratitude to others, you know. And in Psalms 145, it says, from one generation to the next, tell them of God's great mighty acts. Let your children know, tell them so they can learn to be thankful and appreciative and to thank God for all that he has done. So whether small or great, just learn to give thanks with a grateful heart. Stay blessed.